All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about this lens, the Fujifilm 27 millimeter f2.8 pancake lens, and uh, why it might just be my favorite lens for street photography. So before we dive into this, let's uh, get something out of the way really quick. This is not gonna be uh, a technical review necessarily. We are gonna talk a little bit about the specs, but we're not gonna be looking at graphs and charts and talking about barrel distortion or any of that kind of stuff but this will be all about my experience using this lens in a street photography and travel photography kind of application. With that out of the way, let's get you introduced to this little powerhouse of a lens. It's a pancake lens made by Fujifilm for the X-mount series of cameras. It really goes well on a X-Pro3 or an X-E4 type of body, a small rangefinder. It is about 40 millimeter equivalent on an APS-C sensor. Uh, which makes it kind of an interesting focal length, which we'll dive into a little bit later. And for those of us who don't shoot Leicas and have a million dollars, this is also relatively affordable. It's about $300 used in uh, American US currency and about $400 brand new. So like we touched on in the start, the first thing that has to be acknowledged about this lens is its size. It is absolutely tiny. It is a pancake lens, which means that it does not stick out very far from the body of your camera at all. You can see with both body caps off, the front lens cap and the back body cap, it's super, super skinny. If you're interested in the X100 line of cameras uh, because of their portability and their form factor, but like everybody else on the planet, you cannot find an X100V for less than $2,000, this is a great way to kind of make your own. If you shoot with an XE4 or an X-Pro, uh, two or three or whatever, any of these little rangefinder X uh, mount style cameras, it really uh, it gives you almost an X100V-ish experience without um, having to commit to just one focal length, which is really cool. Now, just experientially in the field, using this lens for street photography, why do I think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread? For one thing, this lens, being so tiny and unassuming, gives you actual superpowers. Having a lens or a camera setup that is not intimidating to your subjects is huge. There's a big difference between shooting with um, this little guy and something like this. This is a standard zoom lens for a full frame camera and it's great for a whole lot of things but not necessarily pointing at strangers. Believe me when I say you're probably going to get a lot more weird looks shooting with this than you are with this. So just by nature of its size and how unassuming it is, it gives you a huge advantage um, and it makes shooting street a whole lot easier. Another huge benefit to having a tiny camera setup that does not look intimidating or scary or professional is that it makes you much less of a target for crime or pickpocketing or any of that kind of stuff. So if you're somebody who is always out in the city shooting down in the subway, uh, walking through alleyways, etc., this is a great little setup to have because unless you know your cameras, people don't necessarily look at this setup and think to themselves like, man, that must be worth like two grand, I should steal that. Obviously all this is anecdotal, um, somebody could still steal your camera if they felt like it, so just be careful, use common sense, but point being, this is a lot less of a target. Now let's talk about focal length. A lot of the time in the street photography community, when you're talking about lenses and focal lengths, a lot of people will say 35 and 50. What I think that 40 millimeter does is kind of uh, bridge the gap between 35 and 50 really efficiently. It's not um, quite as wide as 35, obviously, and it's not quite as tight as 50. And so that makes it a really, really versatile lens that can be used in a ton of scenarios. If you are on the fence about 35 versus 50 millimeter and don't know which lens to buy, this could be a really good middle ground for you to try out. That said, there are times when it's a little bit too wide and times when it's a little bit too tight, but you're working with a prime lens and that's true for every single prime lens. Although for the record, I do typically find that it's a little bit too tight before I find that it's a little bit too wide. If I'm not happy with this focal length, it's almost always because I want more in the frame. So keep that in mind. Now, last but not least, let's talk about technical specs. And I said that we wouldn't get into this in detail, but we do still need to talk about things like autofocus and all that. So first things first, this is a weather sealed lens, which is huge for me. Um, I always try to get weather sealed lenses just to keep dust and water out of the sensor area. If you're pairing this with a weather sealed body, like the X-Pro3, 
Um, of course, you're not gonna go swimming with it. It's not probably gonna survive like a typhoon, but it's gonna give you a lot of peace of mind if you're in a dusty environment, if you're shooting in a little bit of rain. Next thing we have to discuss is that it's fast, but it's slow. And what I mean by that is the autofocus is super snappy. It's really a quick lens to focus. Um, it works great for street photography in that respect, but it's a slower aperture. F2.8 on an APS-C camera is not super ultra bright. Now, my personal experience, take this for what you will. I don't have particularly steady hands or ever use a tripod or anything like that, but I get good results with this lens. Until about blue hour, uh, I've shot down in subway stations that are dimly lit and gotten relatively sharp results um, with relatively low noise and grain, but it's gonna depend a lot on your shooting style, uh, where and what you like to shoot, and also how comfortable you are with higher ISOs and shooting with slower shutter speeds. All right, and that about wraps it up. This lens is an absolute powerhouse for me as a street photographer and travel photographer. Super tiny, super easy to bring with. Um, light disappears into a crowd, doesn't draw attention. I mean, what more could you possibly ask for? Again, if you're only gonna be shooting at night, um, probably look at something that is a little bit brighter. Uh, but other than that, if you can work with a 40 millimeter focal length, um, this lens is absolutely invaluable for any street photographer out there. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because that helps grow the channel and get this video out to more people. Thanks again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.